Kamusta po kayo? Welcome po sa ating um, devotion for April 16. Today is a Friday. As we go back to our devotional, we'll be looking at uh, Colossians 3.16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another. Title po ngayon is Instruct, Then Exhort. Ang ganda, no? Sayo po ng uh, ni Tozer. The godly men of old, through whom the scriptures came to us, were faithful in their exhortations to personal faith and godliness, characteristic of the early church. The apostolic method of teaching, instructing, and encouraging was based on solid and fundamental Christian doctrine. This was Paul's method in his New Testament letters. First, he gives his readers the scriptural reasons for certain Christian actions and attributes. He provides the basis and reason, then he exhorts the readers to respond appropriately. Maganda sinabi niya. And, and that is what we have been doing sa ating pong iglesia. Ang ginagawa natin sa ating mga pag-aaral is that we present to you biblical truths and principles and um, share with you uh, how we could apply the timeless truth in our lives and been exhorting all of you to obey and live uh, these principles out. Sabi niya po, <clears throat> We do not know if Paul was the human writer to the Hebrews. But the method of ex exhortation is like, is like Paul's. We are assured that Christ is greater than Moses and greater than the angels and that he purchased mankind's salvation. Then the exhortation. If all these things are true and they are, then we should keep on loving one another, keep on praying for one another. It is a good and gracious argument because we have reasons for doing something. We ought to do it without delay and without reservation. Maganda yung sinabi na dito. At ulitin ko po, that, that is the conviction of your elders of uh, ang ating pagturo. We focus more on God's Word and uh, try to draw out the truth from them. You know, Ini-exegit natin. And um, looking at the historical, cultural context, and then how it applies to us. <clears throat> and ano ang itsura nun pag ating isinabuhay sa ating buhay ngayong panahon na ito. And importante po yun kasi um, if we would not be doing such, if we would just be entertaining all of you, if we would just um, focus on uh, what makes you feel good, then we would not be faithful to the call to exhort and encourage all of you to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ and to, to um, let the Word of Christ dwell in us richly. So, um, isa po sa um, aking uh, convictions at ang aking uh, pananaw is that that is what we ought to be focusing on. The Word of God preached, uh, um, taught, explained, and then the Word of God um, exhorted to be applied in our lives. Kasi walang kwenta ang salta ng Diyos kahit na ang nakita natin dun ay magagandang katotohanan nga at magagandang katuruan samantalang hindi naman natin i-apply sa buhay natin walang walang kwenta po yun right so yung yung salita ni, ni Cristo na richly dwelling in us means uh, nananahan sa atin at naapekto ng ating buhay at uh, nakikita ito sa um, ating paglakad right so th th that is um Napansin ko yung pattern natin ngayong linggong ito more on ano eh ba nang isang araw mediocrity uh, Christianity yung isa dapat magpatuloy tayo sa um, pag-aaral ng salita mananalangin kasi nga sa panahon ngayon mga kapatid 
it's sad to say, um, the Word of God is no longer the priority of the church. I'm not saying all the church. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Kailan uh, niyo po ang ilang mga simbahan na na um, nakafocus sa salita ng Dios. Pero kadalasan po, it's more on entertainment, more on um, feel good messages, more on motivational speeches, more on moral speeches, rather than the word of God preached, the word of God um, boldly. Uh, relayed at um, <clears throat> may panawaga na isabuhay ang mga ito. Right? So, uh, need I say more? Um, this is just wonderful. Uh, ang dalangin ko, sana po, ano eh, we would appreciate the conviction of the church na ganito ang ating nais sa ating iglesia. Sana po um, we would be praying for all our teachers and all our pastors, all our elders and that uh, we would also um, have high regard for God's word as we all together be taught um, timeless truth from God and as we all together are exhorted to live them out and um, isabuhay itong mga katotohanan ito. Hindi para sa atin, kundi sa, para sa kapurihan ni Kristo Jesus. Right? So, what a uh, way to um, start this Friday. Sayo po ni Tozer sa kanyang panalangin. Lord, today I pray for all the biblical instruction presented by professors in our Christian institutions and by pastors in our churches. May your word be taught with spirit anointed clarity and power. And I say amen to that. Yun din ang panalangin ko po. Ang panalangin ko, patuloy tayong uh, biyayaan ng Diyos, ng convictions, ng stamina, na magpatuloy po mag-focus sa salta ng Diyos para kasi ang salta ng Diyos ang kapangyarihan eh. It's not the messenger, it's the message. Um, the the well, the word of the, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. It's dunamis, the uh, power of God para iligtas, para magligtas, para magbago ng buhay. Right? So, pray tayo. Let's pray. I, I like the devotional this week. Pray tayo po. Panginoong Diyos, maray pong salamat sa buong linggong ito. We're almost done with the week, Lord. And we just are humbled by your reminder na lagi po nawa namin i- uh, i-prioritize sa inyong salita, isa buhay ito, seryosohin ito, um, aralin, bulay-bulayin, uh, sundin, at ituro. Dalangin po namin ang lahat po ng inyong manggagawa sa iglesyang ito na patuloy niyo po kami bigyan ng conviction, Lord, to glorify you by being faithful to the call to preach nothing less and nothing more but your word. Dahil alam po namin, um, ito lamang po ang um, kadahilanan kung bakit kami po ay um, mga lingkod ninyo upang ipangaral ang yung salita, upang sa ganun ang yung mga anak ay... Uh, magkaroon ng kaparaanan na lumago at uh, lumalim sa aming po mga panampataya. We pray that uh, this would be appreciated by the whole church. I pray that this would uh, instill um, a heart of appreciation and prayers as well for all your workers, elders, and pastors sa dakong ito. At sana po, Panginoon Diyos, ay Masumpungan niyo po kami, lalong tigit ngayon, Panginoon Diyos, sa pandemang ito, na tunay nga pong patuloy kami na ang nais namin ay ang yung salita ang maitanghal, ang yung salita ang maisabuhay namin, ang yung salita ang uh, maunawaan namin habang kami po ay naghihintay sa inyong pagbalik um, As we live lives um, here on earth, uh, um, <clears throat> aspiring and 
trying our best to glorify you in whatever things that we say, think, or do. Muli, Panginoon Diyos, pagpalaan niyo po ang araw na ito. And we pray that you would uh, meet all our needs at katagpuin niyo po, Panginoon Diyos, ang lahat po ng mga aming pong mga isipin. Kayo po naman ang um, magtustos lahat po ng aming mga pangailangan. Maraming maraming salamat sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Thank you po. I'll see you all tomorrow for our last day of this 14th week. God bless you and ingat po kayo.